the Lord was reminding me what I was going to preach, I, even after all that mess that was running in my mind, I about couldn't contain myself because of verse 17. Psalms 94 and verse 17, the Bible said, Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. You can be seated. In Psalms 94, uh, we find that the Scripture tells us, Unless the Lord uh, had been my help. I want to preach this morning having a thought uh, on unless... Uh, uh, the Lord. Uh, uh, friend, today I don't understand uh, and that how people make it uh, and that without God. Uh, I don't understand today uh, how the world that's lost and dying uh, and going to the devil's hell. Uh, I, I know that we under, that we face and uh, uh, that everything the same, friend. Uh, uh, listen, every one of us goes to the funeral home. Uh, every one of us lose loved ones. Uh, every one of us has trouble. Uh, uh, friend, I'm telling you, every one of us has sickness. Uh, uh, but friend, I mean today I don't understand uh, how a lost world uh, and that can face this stuff uh, uh, without a saving God. Amen. Uh, uh, listen, how many times uh, uh, have you been somewhere in your life uh, and you say unless uh, uh, the Lord comes by, I won't have no help. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, uh, how many times uh, uh, God has come by uh, and helped us. Uh, let me say this morning, first of all, uh, and I'm trying to hurry, I'm aware of what time it he is, uh, uh, but number one, unless the Lord uh, 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 comes by, I will have no help. Uh, uh, friend, I'm telling you today, uh, uh, unless he comes by, uh, friend, I'm telling you, we're going to be in a mess. Uh, uh, the Bible says that we're to pray uh, and seek God. Hebrews 4, uh, let us therefore come boldly uh, under the throne of grace, uh, uh, that we may find what mercy uh, and find grace uh, uh, to help in a time of need. Uh, uh, friend, I'm telling you today, I uh, uh, we can come uh, and we can pray uh, and we can seek God. Uh, uh, but friend, ain't it wonderful uh, uh, when he comes by uh, and I mean just shows up uh, and shows out. Uh, uh, friend, when he comes by and helps our heart uh, and it encourages us. Uh, uh, friend, there's been times I don't know what I'd have done uh, unless God uh, had come by. Boy, I'm telling you today, uh, I kind of think uh, uh, sometimes you remember uh, uh, in Mark chapter 10, the story I blind Bartimaeus. God, we're gonna need you now. I, I, when when Jesus I, I come by, boy, old blind Bartimaeus, I, I wouldn't have had no help I, unless Jesus yeah. come by. I, I listen unless I, I over there with that woman I, I, that had the issue of blood. I, unless Jesus I, had passed by, I, boy, shit, I had no help. I, I, but ain't you glad Jesus I, and that passes by? Amen. I, ain't you glad Jesus I, and that passes by in salvation? I, I'm glad, hey, uh, I'm glad that he come by when I had no help. Uh, had he not come by uh, one Sunday night uh, and spoke to my heart, uh, unless Jesus comes by, uh, uh, friend, hey, there ain't gonna be no saving. Uh, uh, do you know that? Uh, I mean, we can sing till we're blue in the face. Uh, I can preach till I'm blue in the face. Uh, we can try to sing it down, uh, shout it down, uh, and all them things are fine. Uh, uh, but friend, unless Jesus uh, uh, passes by, we ain't got no help, amen, uh, in salvation. Uh, uh, we can't work it up, work it out. Uh, uh, we can't make folk come and get saved. Uh, uh, but I'm telling you today, uh, uh, when Jesus passes by, it'll make all the difference uh, in the world. Amen. Uh, unless the Lord passes by, well, ain't going to be no help. Uh, listen, help for salvation. If you're lost today, I believe God's been trying to deal with some folk. Listen, I'll tell you what, now there is a difference. And I've been working on a message in my mind a difference in the presence. Uh, and the power of God. The presence of God uh, make you want to shout. Well, when he comes by, he just <laughs> blows by your way. Make you want to cry. Well, I tell you, it'll do something to you. I mean, uh, you may not be a shouter. You might be a crier. You might be a hand raiser. You might be all three of them. I get that way sometimes. Amen. Well, get so much snot running, you can't talk. Amen. Amen. I mean, it just gets to be a mess. Uh, uh, but listen, uh, he said, unless the Lord... Passes by. I love it when his presence comes by. But boy, when his power comes by. Well, I'm telling you, when his power comes by, I listen to things uh, and that begin to happen. Boy, I'm telling you, sinners begin to get under conviction. You know why? You know why? Folk don't get under conviction today. Ain't no power of God. It's not that God ain't got no power. It's just we ain't got no power with him. And for that's the problem today. Unless God passes by in our meeting, God ain't gonna come. Friend, where sin's at, where sin dwells, and where folk don't want him 
that. Amen. Amen. Well, we'll have no other help unless God passes by to save. Well, I'm glad He still saves, ain't you? Yes, Lord. I'm glad He's still in the saving power. Boy, I tell you what, if you take your Bible and go to Psalms 128, Psalms 121, excuse me, Psalms, well, I'm having trouble with numbers this morning. Psalms 121. Well, I'm telling you, there'd have been no help in salvation. But I'm telling you, there'd have been no help in your life. He said, I'll lift up mine eyes under the hills from which cometh my help. We've got to look up for heaven. We've got to look up for help. Not look out yonder. Not look behind us. But we've got to look up. You don't know I had one window in that ark. And it was up. Come on. Sometimes me and you just got to look up. Now, look, look verse 2. He said, My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. Oh, I love this part. Verse 3. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. Hmm. And he that keepeth thee will not slumber. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, my, my. The God in heaven, it's my help. Unless the Lord. You know what that means? Even when I'm asleeping, He ain't. Even when I'm slumbering, He ain't. He's a watching it all this morning. He's a taking care of everybody. He's working behind the scenes like Brother Jeff made mention of in Sunday school this morning. I, I, he, he's working. I, I friend, even when we can't see Him, He's working. How many times has He come by he said, Behold, verse 4, He that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. Now watch what he said in verse 5. The Lord is thy keeper. Amen. He's the one Amen. doing the keeping. Unless the Lord, unless the Lord comes by, there'll be no saving. Unless the Lord comes by, you ain't going to have no help. You say, what do I need help for? How many times, friend? How many times? And Brother Jeff talked about them financial issues this morning. How huh, that God answered. How many times have you had a financial? Let's just be honest with ourselves and call it the way it is. How many times do you need some money? Yeah, come on. Hmm? And God worked it out. Yeah. Hey. Huh? He said, Well, I had to work some overtime for God worked it out. That's right. Huh? Amen. Huh? Listen, I've, I've seen the time where, where I've had to pray uh, and get work to make money. Then I've seen the time where I've prayed uh, and folk come by and put some money in your hand. Right. I've pulled $100 bills out from under my windshield wipers. I've pulled $100 bills out from my door handle on my vehicle where folk didn't know. Listen, I, I hadn't shared nothing with yeah. nobody. I, and they just fold them up uh, and put it in there. Praise God. God knows how. But unless the Lord... Unless the Lord. Now, how many times have you had family trouble? Mm -hmm. Some of you know what I'm talking about, family trouble. I think of a fella that, that works for Mitchell. I thought about him when I was studying this out. I thought about Chad. I did. And uh, now he, he's a little OCD. He, he's a little crazy if you knew him, but he's wide open. But Chad had some drug trouble a long time ago. And well, God got him in a place where he could hear the gospel. God got him in a place where he could get some help. Hallelujah. And when he got in all that mess, he lost his wife. He lost his little boy. Had a divorce. I mean, it was just a mess. But you know what? When he got saved and he got right with God and got all that behind him, you know what happened? You don't hear this too much, but God put his family back together. Praise God. They got married again. He, uh, there's a little boy got his daddy back. Yeah. They was a wife that got her husband back. Thank God. And they was, and and you know what? They got a little girl now. Amen. <laughs> unless the Lord. Right. You see what I'm trying to tell you? Unless He passes by, Amen. we ain't gonna have no help. That's right. And I think about that sometimes. How God just. Just, and, and, and we overlook that little stuff. It may not be that big of a deal out of you what God done for them or what God does for somebody else. 
But I'm telling you what, when God comes by and does it for you, it's a great big deal. Right. Right. Amen. Right. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you, when He shows up for you, well, it's all different then. I'm telling you what, you, you, you can listen to Jeff talk this morning and, and, and we were right there to see just about every bit of it happen. He didn't tell you something about the doctor that Zeke had up in, up in Cleveland. The, the operation that he had to have was like for Moya Moya. And if you study what Moya Moya is, it's, it's how the, 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 the vessels in the brain work and how they cloud up and, and all that mess. And, and the foremost authority on Moya Moya was the Boston Hospital. Ain't that right, Brother Jeff? And Zeke's doctor that operated on him, you correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't he come from Boston Hospital? The advising doctor. The advising doctor. Right. God knows how Amen. to work it all out. God knows how. I, uh, listen, when it's not happening to you, it may not be that big of a deal. But boy, when you need God to come by, and boy, when he does, well, I'm telling you, you're just raise, even when he comes by for somebody else, you will raise your hand. Right. Say, boy, Lord, I'm so glad you showed up for somebody else because I know that you're real. Yes. And I know you're going to come by for me. Yes. I know that you will. I know that you will. He said, unless the Lord, unless the Lord had been my help, how many times have we needed help? I, I, listen, there's so many times that us in our frail mind and in our frail body that we thank God cannot show up. That it's too late, it's too far. What did we see on Wednesday night? Martha said, Lord, I, I, he stinketh. He's been dead for four days. Talking about Lazarus. And he said, just roll the stone away. <laughs> I'm always reminded of that scripture of what the Bible said in the book of Romans over there when it talked about Abraham and God. It said that God seen the things that were not as though they were. <laughs> That's the God that comes by. Amen. That's the God that makes His self so real. How many times have we had health trouble and didn't know how we was going to get out of it? How many times have we been sick? If you ain't never been sick, it don't matter. You don't understand that. But if you've ever been sick and called out to God and He's made you better, then you'll understand. How many times have we faced temptation and God's come by and handled that temptation? Gave us a way to escape, just like the Bible said. How many times have we just simply had a bad day and just needed some help. And God come by just like that. I was in my wife's office the other day where she works at. And I didn't know she had this hanging on her bulletin board. But it was a scripture. What scripture do you have hanging up there? Do you remember? <laughs> yes, I'm something. But it... At one point, what caught my eye hanging there on that whole thing and, is that she had printed it off or somebody had printed it off and she had it hanging on her bulletin board and it made one statement in that scripture that in the Lord I'll trust. And trust was in great big letters. Now everything else was in regular letters but trust was in great big letters. Do you know how to get the Lord... To come by. you got to trust in Him. If you want to do it on your own, you help yourself. And you'll fall flat every time. It, 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 it'll, it'll come to naught every time. But if we trust in Him, He'll come by. He'll come by. Unless the Lord... Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul. Almost, had almost dwelt in silence. 
I think most of us have had some times in life that have said, boy, if God hadn't come by, and I know I've said this before, but boy, if God hadn't come by, we'd have been in a mess. And looking back, we can look back and we can see how God works. It's always that looking forward. But unless the Lord, I'm telling you today, unless God comes by, we ain't going to have no help. That's right. And unless you trust in Him, you ain't going to have no help. Friend, unless He comes by and convicts your heart, you ain't going to get saved. That's right. But I'm going to tell you today, if God's dealing with your heart about salvation, God wants you to get saved. That's what he won't be like the preacher and, and sit there like a knot on the log when you should have moved. You know, God, you say, boy, if, if, if God wouldn't deal with me, that would be such a wonderful thing if God would not deal with me again. You don't know what you're asking for. For God not to deal with you again. If I could just get away from God. I don't know if it was Wednesday night or last Sunday that we sung that old song for invitational hymn, Pass me not on gentle Savior, while on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. One thing I don't want God to do is pass me by. I'm glad He didn't pass me by that Sunday night when I got saved. Like I tell you, I don't even remember what the preacher preached that Sunday night. I couldn't tell you. I don't know. But all I know is that God dealt with my heart and that I was lost. That's all I know. How about you this morning? Let's bow our heads. Let's get us a verse of invitation. That message didn't go anything like I thought it was going to, but I'm going to tell you, unless the Lord is your help, is God dealing with you about salvation today? Yeah. Listen, if God is dealing with you today, why don't you move? Why don't you move? We're going to pray. And if you need to come, if you need some help from God, if you need some help from God, I want you to move, okay? Heavenly Father, we come to you. We ask you this morning that you'll help during this invitation. I pray that you'll touch and that you'll help today. There may be somebody here that's lost that does not know you. Lord, I have no doubt there's somebody here that's lost that don't know you. And I just pray that you'll help. And Lord, I pray today that there may be somebody here that needs some help. Lord, I mean, they truly may need some help. Nobody else may know about what they need. Nobody else may know, but you know. And there may be somebody here that's broken hearted today. Lord, that just needs some help. God, I pray that you'll move today and help them. God, that you'll come by. Unless, unless you come by, Lord, there's going to be some folk here not get any help today. Lord, there's some folk needing some help. And I pray they'll find it in you. For these things in your name. Let's keep our heads bowed this morning.